So, here we are again. It's been nearly four years since we first experienced the insanity that was Final Fantasy VII Remake. A game that was nostalgic. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very, um, very happy. <laughs> How much I'm... Oh god, the fucking music is kicking in now. Okay, f of course I'm gonna fucking take it, alright? I love Aerith to death. It's just the fucking scope of everything. Like, look, this is... It's fucking wild, man. Hilarious. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. I'm Diesel. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what? Oh my god, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, that makeup and that dress. Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> Jaw dropping. The hell? Oh my god, you are serious? Oh my god, no fucking way. Oh my god, we get, we get to find a motherfucking house in this game after all. Genova Dreamweaver? What the shit? Oh, oh fuck me, here we go. Oh shit, the music is getting going in. <laughs> Let's go, baby! And absolutely bewildering. What the fuck is this? Like, these revenant looking motherfuckers. Holy fucking shit. Whoa! Guys, stop spoiling the rest of the game. What the fuck is going on, dude? What? What? <gasps> what? Huh? What's happening, Zach? The price of freedom is steep. What are you doing? Why are we, what? It's a game that I've come to cherish very dearly. And while there was no way it could ever replace my love for the original, which is still my favorite game of all time, it did something that I wasn't expecting. It made me ask myself, what the hell is going to happen next? Because you see, what we've come to discover is that Final Fantasy VII Remake is not, in fact, a remake of the original Final Fantasy VII, but rather a sequel, taking place after the events of later entries, such as Dirge of Cerberus and the movie Avon Children. New strange enemies called Whispers, or Plot Ghosts, as we lovingly refer to them, show up out of nowhere, acting as gatekeepers to the Final Fantasy VII continuity that is being interrupted by a time-hopping Sephiroth. However, by the end of the game, the Whispers have seemingly been defeated, meaning that at this point, anything can happen. We are no longer bound by the constraints of the original story. As they've touted in the trailers for the game, the journey beyond this point is an unknown one. We've also got two seemingly different timelines, the normal one with Cloud and Team, and another where a very significant character survived his final battle against Soldier. And that's not even going into there being multiple different Sephiroths, Aerith seemingly knowing everything that's going on, or even Sephiroth's baffling line at the end of the game. Seven seconds till the end. What the hell is he talking about? All of these crazy revelations had me a bit nervous at first, as it really wasn't what I or anyone else was expecting from a quote-unquote remake of a beloved RPG. But after sitting on the idea for a while, this prospect of things being different, where anything could happen, it has me excited. This potential for where the story could go, and how the events of the other timeline might affect the outcome of the current one, it makes for something that both reveres its source material, and pushes it forward in new and interesting ways. And honestly, if there was ever a moment in the story where we could potentially branch off from the established canon, it would be right where we are now, with Cloud and team escaping Midgar and finding themselves in a massive open world. To be honest, while seeing Midgar remade in the last game was a joy to behold, its purpose was the same as it was in the original, to act as a relatively linear prologue for the insane journey that lies beyond that steel sky. Remake was the proof of concept 
showing us the potential for what a modern day Final Fantasy VII could be. But Rebirth, that is where the game truly begins. This is the actual game we've all been waiting for, where the sky's the limit and the world is our oyster. So come on, picky penguins. It's time we return to the promised land and see what the future holds for us as we step out of Midgar into the vast, great unknown. Nico B, here with a let's play of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. <laughs> ah, sorry, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's here, guys. It's freaking here. Holy crap, let's go into this. Oh man, the sword's still there. Interesting, so they actually have the same title screen as the, uh, as the first game. I guess that makes sense. I mean, that's what the, the original game was, you know? And I just keep it all the way probably till uh, part three as well. Oh my God. I'm so, 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 so excited to finally be experiencing this. I do also just want to give a real quick shout out and huge thank you to uh, Square, who uh, provided me with an early copy of the game, um, which is basically allowing me to actually give you guys this first episode, literally the uh, day that, or the moment that uh, uh, the game drops. So, shouldn't be anything too spoilery because technically I'm going to be starting from the very beginning. I'm I, Technically, I have actually played the prologue that was in the demo, but I wanna start from the beginning, uh, do a fresh save here, get all of that amazing stuff in the beginning in 4K, because yes, we are recording this uh, this playthrough in a beautiful, sexy 4K, but only 30 FPS, not the usual 60 like we do, we're doing for Persona 3 Reload, because we're going to actually be playing this game on graphics mode. After playing through the demo and seeing what the graphical fidelity was for both modes, I honestly feel that the graphics mode is just much, much better looking. I'm usually a, always like FPS over graphics kind of guy, but it really it just looks a lot better on the graphics mode, man. Running around the world and everything. So, hope that's okay with you guys. Uh, I think it's uh, it's gonna look pretty damn good on YouTube. And I'm thrilled about it because honestly, this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to uh, upgrade my stuff to 4K. I wanted this stuff to look just the best it possibly could because this is a really important game to me, right? I talked about it in this little intro at the start. Final Fantasy VII Remake was the proof of concept. It was the thing that essentially showed what a modern day FF7 could possibly be. But man, Rebirth, this is the game, bro. This is where we get out of Midgar and the world is, is our oyster. You know, go where we want, do what we want. And everything I've seen from the previews is that this world is packed to the brim with things to do and explore and see and so many new crazy things that were not in the original. I have uh, avoided looking at any reviews, so I don't know what uh, people are saying. I've seen some scores. I won't say what those scores are for anyone who is uh, wants to stay blind to that, but I just can't fucking wait to see and play this fucking game myself. I, I've, <laughs> God, it feels like forever, man. I've been sitting here just thinking about frothing at the mouth, dying to play this. I really did love Final Fantasy VII Remake. I know some of its story bits have been pretty divisive, but... It's hard for me to say whether those things are going to work in the end when we haven't gotten the full scope of what, you know, this series is going to be, these three games. So there's obviously a lot of huge, crazy moments that are going to happen in this game that are probably going to fuck me up really good. <laughs> They're going to mess me up super goddamn good, but I, I can't help myself, okay? FF7 is just... I, I love that game so much. It, it is truly affected like my life in just a profound way. So uh, seeing it remade or, you know, remake sequeled in this way is something, honestly, that it just hits me in a way that is uh, uh, visceral. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, okay, 
let's have a look. Let's we got bonuses here. Bonuses are offered as thanks for playing various versions of the game. To clean these bonuses, first confirm that the eligible will save day is present. Koopa Charm and Survival Set. In addition to completing the Nibelheim portion will allow you to skip it in the main game. Okay, well, I don't... Yeah, I don't I, I don't want to skip it, but checking for reward eligibility. Claim your Koopa Charm and Survival Set by selecting the DLC bonuses, okay? Save for including the segment. You may now skip the this portion of the main scenario. Uh, some remake. Claim your Leviathan summoning materia. Episode of your mission. Your Ramu summoning materia. All right. All right. That's cool. I'm not going to do the story so far. I think we all know. I sort of covered it at the start of this, but... And there's honestly a video on YouTube if you want to check it, but... All right, guys. Uh, are you all ready? <laughs> I don't know. I think I am. I mean, well, I have technically seen a lot of this, essentially this start and this flashback. It's still, uh... I actually can't wait to play through it again because it was amazing. But before we hop into this, uh, I just want to ask if you guys are excited for this series and are as amped as I am about the return of FF7, uh, please consider leaving a like in this video. It really does help me out a lot. Help spread the word, get some more eyes on it, and uh, leave a comment down below, you know? Let me know what you're looking forward to seeing in this or what FF7 means to you. I'd love to hear it. All right, so default? Uh, definitely want that that shit coming out my uh, headphones and not the freaking uh, controller. Okay, so this is the thing that is new to the game. So we have normal difficulty and then we have dynamic difficulty where the enemy difficulty adjusts automatically based on your skill level. It's like this if you love the thrill of the fight. The thing about this is, from what I could tell, it seems like this is basically FF8 mode. And for those of you who never play Final Fantasy VIII, that game was sort of unusual in that your experience like fighting monsters they they essentially scaled with your level it sounds cool but the bad thing about it is it kind of also makes like leveling up and getting stronger pointless because the enemies will always be like just enough strong enough to be able to like keep up with you so i think it's for that reason it, if it is that way here i think i'm gonna stick with normal for now but the nice thing is i can seemingly switch to this whenever i want so if i end up like you know getting too buff or whatever, I can always switch to this to, to make more dramatic moments or battles uh, not seem like a cakewalk, you know? Because let's be honest, I'm going to be doing everything I could possibly do in this game, all right? I'm telling you guys right now, dude, I am going so hard into this game, all right? Don't blame me, okay? I mean, sometimes I, I don't know beforehand if I'm going to be like, go that big into a game, but dude, I already know, all right? I already know for this game. All right. I'll be curious if they add anything here at the start. All right, just flashing back to the end of last game. Da -da -da -da. Ugh, ugh. Screw these motorcycles. So everyone's like, I'm here, hello. Let's blow up Midgard together. Blah, blah, blah. Avid children, cloud diving in. I'm waiting, cloud. Cloud. Seven seconds till the end, cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. <gasps> the smoke rising oh, this from is the new. rubble is reminiscent of a funeral. <gasps> this is new! <laughs> Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. I wasn't sure this was going to be the new reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the it the fall of the Sector Seven plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors zero, one, and two. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be quote. Perpetrated by the weather warfare known as Avalanche. Yes, somehow we did that. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wu Tai and has begun investigations into the matter. Is this our timeline or Zach's? I think this is us. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know, though. I mean, maybe not. That's like Shinra Tower. Oh, no, I think that's actually not our timeline. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Fuck this game. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited, dude. There he is! Wow. Oh my god. Holy shit, goosebumps, man. <laughs> of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plane. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Oh, wow. Over there. Going more Amidst into the this. Of the expressway. Search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one oh, you're right. That soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. <gasps> oh shit. They're looking for Zack. The fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here. Get him on board. Take off. Oh my god! People from the rubble. Oh my god, Baron and Tifa are dead! Quick, get the camera off them. <laughs> Those people aren't important. Oh no, Red's dead too! This way. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. We Wake up, Red! Kilo now. Move it! We're taking off! <gasps> what? There she is, Zach! Don't look at me! Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Aerith! Oh, Red's attacking him! He's alive! Whoa! Uh, Red, you might want to stop biting them! What the fuck? Oh my god! What is happening? What? Oh my god, we got fucking straight bamboozled, bro. Oh my god, Piglet, we got bamboozled. That flashback was the beginning at all. I mean, it is a flashback technically, but... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, ah, oh my god! Wow. Dude, Square kept this shit under wraps. I mean, granted, we, we saw Zach literally on the cover of the box and shit, but like... We'll expect you to be controlling with the very start? Get out of the way, physics objects! I can't slash or do anything. Got any chest out here for our, my boy Zach? And for those of you who've never played FF7 original and you're like, who is Zack? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Zach, bleh. Get the shit out of my way. Blah, blah. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh my god, dude. 
What's a buster sword? I thought that was like a unique thing. <laughs> oh, this, this is fucking amazing, dude. I am losing it right now. This music too. Red? Oh, wait, is this the copter? What is this thing? Oh, no, it's the crazy uh, buster thingy. Yeah, with the let. Yeah, the thing that rode on the highway that we, we fought with Cloud and Team. Granted, that is this version's, I guess. Hello? Oh, there's Aerith. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, he plays different too. Combo charge? I don't know what I'm doing. Things are happening. Things are happening. Oh! I'm kicking you too. Get him, Zach. Don't touch my girlfriend. This is this is so crazy, dude. Yeah, lethal force. I got your lethal force right here, bitch. Oh, fucking hell. Come on, let's get him. Oh, just try me. See what happens. Combo charge. What? I don't even know what I'm doing. Doing. Oh, okay. It's got a cooldown on it. Uh, I don't have any menu or magic or anything. Ugh! Got you, baby girl. Oh no! Oh, no. Brad, no! I think he might be dead for, for realsies this time. At least in this timeline. Where's the agent? Heads are gonna roll if we don't find her. Just shut the hell up and search. Stop. All of it. Oh. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. Got this music, bro. Uh oh. Better pick that up. She kind of needs that. Oh, time. here we go. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Those sneaky motherfuckers. Me? Yeah, no problem. And now it's we've hit the flashback in the demo. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. God damn, bro. It was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. Chapter one, fall of a hero. Damn, dude. I can't believe that Square actually kept that shit under wraps. This whole, I'm so glad they did. What a, what a pl uh, really unbelievably down, huh? pleasant surprise that shit was. Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Oh, 
my god, I just noticed something. I think. Hey. Hold on. Rain it in. What? Sorry. No can do. Just do my squats. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utai, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. Hm. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends at our 12! Let's go. Ball sack monsters. In the original game, it was actually like a big weird dragon thing. You take one, I'll take the other. This time they made two little ball sack dragons. So it was like, I'm done. God damn it, he's so fucking hot. Claude, you're making us look bad, bro. Wait in the truck. I'll show you no how way. it's done. I got this. Uh. 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 It's so cool they let you play that moment there. So sick. He was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. Damn, dude. Look how freaking beautiful Nibelheim looks. Home sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the ship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. I love it. Bear interrupts there, just like in the original. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. God, dude, it's so perfect. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me.
Consider yourself off duty till sundown. God, this game's pretty. Holy shit. It really does look so much better in graphics mode. Uh, all right. Yes, press uh, start. Check the main menu. Circle to roll. This is the thing that allows act Cloud to now perform actions. Yes, that's right. You can climb terrain and shit in this game. It's amazing and also hilarious at times. This menu, by the way. Press square. Uh, we'll enter the photo mode. Perfect for thumbnails. Yes, that's right. Look at this shit down here. It says I. It doesn't say anything about me playing a demo anymore. This is the real shit. <laughs> Damn. This UI is so clean. I legitimately love it. Okay, so I can't change our skills or anything. But by the way, if you want to see my full raw reaction, my blind reaction to the, the flashback, that, I mean, the Zack stuff was totally new. That was not in any of the demos. But I have technically played this part. Uh, the streams are up. I'll leave links to them down below. Uh, to both of them, it was the the uh, the flashback and also the Junon demo. If you just want to see my, my my raw reaction to those moments. Granted, like I said, this is still... I think this is incredible. Like, this this flashback is so perfect in so many ways. And but and also, it's not going to look like 4K here. Like, it's not going to look nearly as good in, in, uh, in this as in this video. So, it's kind of the reason why I wanted to go back through and uh, re-experience it again. So. so, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? No, uh... This cheeky motherfuckers. That's all I'm going to say, all right? Cheeky motherfuckers. Speaking of which, I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine. Am I right? These cheeky motherfuckers. Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. They got anything worth eating? Now, I'm going to say right now, obviously, I know the events of the original Final Fantasy VII, right? So I'm not going to spoil anything for people who do not know those events. I'm going to do my best not to. So, and I, I sort of appreciate if you guys didn't in the comments. Obviously, don't spoil anything for this game in particular, obviously, for myself and anybody else. But I'll do my best too to sort of avoid that because I, I don't really know what is sacred anymore, right? Technically, this character, Zack, has now been revealed. And he was not revealed until very, very, very late in the original game. And honestly, you know almost barely anything about him. Even when you learn about him, you learn through an optional cutscene. It's so bizarre. So this time around, they're showing him so much earlier and it's like, it's kind of wild to me. That's why when I first saw it, I was like, this seems like a spoiler, but then seeing people's reactions to it and not like have any idea who he is, I kind of realized, oh, just him by himself isn't really a spoiler. So anyway, look how freaking gorgeous. Nibelheim looks. And there's chickens! <laughs> Don't run away from me, chickens! Chickens! Chickens and chess. Oh, yes, and mega potions. Look at this shit. All items have these beautiful 3D renders. So cool, dude. Same for all your weapons. So this one is uh, the focus thrust, okay? So we still seem to have that road warrior bangle. Another nice change, and I brought this up when I for, when I played through this uh, the first time. Something that they did in this version of the game that was not in the original. Normally in the flashback sequence, you were actually level one, and Sephiroth was level fifty, and that never really made a whole lot of sense. Like it was sort of supposed to set the idea of like, oh yeah, Sephiroth is super buff and crazy powerful and way stronger than you are. But it also didn't make sense because you are technically a first class soldier, right? Why would Cloud be only level one? I feel like it was almost done in a way to sort of explain why, oh, he's level one there. But then, you know, when we play him at the start of FF7, he's level like six, uh, going on to level seven. So it's like, oh, he got stronger from them. But it didn't really make a whole lot of sense that he was that weak, you know? Uh, if he's supposed to be like on the same par, it's not like, you know, Sephiroth is sort of looking after you and like, you know, he is your superior, but at the same time, you're supposed to be uh, the top, the top of the top, the cream of the crop. So, hey there, you boys are going to be well stocked for your trip up the mountain. Oh, hello, doggy. By the way, this, the level of like shit you can go up on is like, like, look at this, man. I can get up here and go over 
I can go over this spot over here? That's what I discovered during the demo. I was like, what the hell? This is crazy. It does look just some funny shit like, look at this shit. Uh. <laughs> I do kind of love it though. I, I do love it. Um, and I think it's just honestly that that level of now exploration that the and freedom that it gives you, uh, versus the sort of like you know, walls like literal walls and invisible walls of like the previous games. Uh, I appreciate. It. Look at all, and they, these guys are continuing just like what they did in remake with the freaking NPC dialogue and shit. And like, look at this little kids over here, like playing sword fighting and doing stuff. Ah, oh, got him. <laughs> Apparently, they, they all know the FF7 victory theme. Just the little details. It's it's freaking insane. I could do that too. Woo. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Everyone, please oh, calm down. Look over here. I'm eager to talk to him too. But now <laughs> I would like Sephiroth to sign my ass cheeks, please. Don't Sephiroth, please get out here and sign my cheeks. Sign everyone's cheeks. Sephiroth. <laughs> Sephiroth's in there right now. Would kill for a shot of him. But I should probably wait till later, huh? Whatever, nerd. Oh, and then this part here. This this part's hilarious. Good to see you. How about a taste of home before you go? A sandwich. Oh, I'm gonna eat that whole thing right here. Mm. Silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. Silly boy. The taste reminds you of home. Eat up, Cloud. You still got room to grow, you know. You remember these pork sandwiches? Yeah, have a whole nother There's sandwich, Cloud. The ones Mrs. Tyler used to make. I like Cloud's sure not saying anything, by the way. Snacks on a play date before. Wait, did you go on any play dates? Yeah, you're stuffed. Claudia must be so proud of what a fine young man you've become. Take care of yourself. You'll be spending the night at home, won't you? Maybe I'll pay your mother a visit. Yeah, give me another sandwich, lady. <laughs> You must have a lot of catching up to do. You will not have room for supper tonight. You don't want to keep your mother waiting, do you? I need more sandwiches, lady. <laughs> How do you think I stay in this such amazing shape? <laughs> so goofy, dude. That's what I love about this game, man. It's like, they're not afraid to do the goofy shit. It was like that one in the original, too. It's like, yes, I'm just gonna eat three sandwiches here. God, the music, man. The freaking Nibelheim theme is so... Iconic. Oh god, this, uh, this was the this was the moment here. This this fucked me up when I played this in the demo. This this just, it's like, this is perfection to me. And then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. Strife residence. Look how cute Cloud's mom is. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there. <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. Oh, my God. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. So this is funny. I, I when we were going, we've gone back through remake recently, and um, I forgot that technically they actually showed this scene right here in remake. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. 
One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. Class can keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. A silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. <sighs> it's... Ah, it's just... It still gets me emotional, man. How good that fucking scene is and how they did it here. It's almost one-to-one -one how it was done in the original, but it's done with such love and care and just... And it's like... Uh, it's just perfect. It's it's just perfect. And it's, it's something that I feel like as a kid, I remember not fully understanding, like, why Cloud was so, like, weirdly, like... Like, why didn't you want to talk about it? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, based on things that happen at the end here, of you know, it's like... This is, like he said, the last time he sees his mom and... You know, it's not just the fact that, oh, that she's gone, but also the fact that the last time he spoke with her, he was so, like, dismissive and just kind of ignoring of her. So even thinking about that is is probably really hard for him. Uh, you press the touchpad to view the map. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Water Tower Square, Residential Square. First time in two years. Oh, that's cool. You see the interlude a world apart interesting i'm almost wondering then if i feel like we're, what we're going to be doing then is we're going to be like jumping back and forth between zach and cloud here i guess what is sort of sort of suggesting maybe it'll be happening in between each chapter Oh man, dude, this game is just something else. Hello, ma'am. Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? <laughs> oh, whoops. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. It's funny, these two kids were also in the original game, too. The little, the little boy like mimics what the, the girl says. I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. You're so cool. You're just, you look so different. Gonna beat those monsters? Gonna beat them? You a soldier? You a soldier? <laughs> Gonna beat those monsters? Gonna beat them? It's so good, dude. Get out of my way, lady. I'm a soldier, don't you know? I find it funny, it, like, how also you're not hearing Cloud, like, talk to any of these people. He's not saying anything. Just looking at them awkwardly. Uh, the survey team is the coolest. Man, why didn't I enlist like everyone else? The old water tower. Where he made his promise to Tifa. Which we did see in Remake. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. Uh huh. God, the lighting is. You got some next level shit here, man. I got the fan going in my room right now, and I, it almost feels like I'm there right now, like sitting up there with him and feeling the, the cool breeze. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Damn, dude, this game looks... This game looks so fucking good. In 4K mode, it's actually insane. I'm hoping this is looking as good for you guys. I, I feel like it should be. As it is for me. Really, it really is actually pretty amazing. Like, I feel like 1080p looks not so great on YouTube anymore, but man, 4K actually looks pretty damn good. 
Sephiroth! Tifa's place. Huh? You went to my place? <laughs> no. Yeah, I did. I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> but most of them had to do with you. <laughs> Shut up, Barrett. Shut up, butthead. Look at Tifa's pretty ass house. Kitty? Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing. No, it was Mr. Kitty. And that day was no different. Let's go see what's upstairs. And I went to her their parents' room. And stole their shit. Mine! You took my dad's medication? My bad. You went into my room? I did. I did. More importantly... You went through my stuff? <laughs> no, I was making a joke. Hell yeah. I know I shouldn't have. You asshole! <laughs> this is so amazing, dude. It's so amazing. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, and yes, you could do that in the original. You still stole her like orthopedic underwear. Final Fantasy 07 OG was a bit of a PV game, okay? Look at her little co cute little Koopo there. Got a little bag, all the little details in here. All right, here it is, the piano. Uh, it's like pianos you encounter and start tickling the ivories and perform pieces with the sheet music you've acquired. Did you actually play it? I went to freaking town it. Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, do I not get, uh... The sheet music this time? In the demo, you actually get to play Tifa's theme. Is it actually not here this time? Maybe I have to find it uh, somewhere else. Maybe they just gave it for you the, for the demo so you could just, you actually get a song and try out the, the mini game. I think that might be the case. Wow. Wow. Where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit. You're a merc of many talents. Hell yeah, I am. Freaking rocked that shit. <laughs> yes, I sounded so good. Thank you. Thank you. I think I might have uh, touted my performance a bit more than I should have <laughs> to them when I told them the story. Yeah, interesting. It seems like this time we, uh, we didn't get it. Unfortunately, it does seem like there's a potential that the, um, the piano themes that we play on here might get flagged by YouTube. I know Tifa's was a notorious one that I actually had to cut out of my own stream and everyone, everyone else also had to cut their, out of their uh, stuff on YouTube. So uh, we'll have to see. I know. I, I know. Uh, the same thing will have to happen for for this one when I play it here. I'll try the other songs and see if you know when we get other songs to be able to play on there. Uh, hopefully, it won't run into problems, but we'll see. But yeah, I think I guess they just include that in the demo so you can get a taste of it. That's cool. That's that was a nice one to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait. There's one. There's one other thing. Remember finding this. Look at this. This is cute. I don't know how doing their like with everyone. Do the little Just workouts. Ah, uh, change the sky. It's hard to keep up with these people. They're strong. Oh, and also, check this out. It's kitties! Miss Kitty, what are you doing here? That one kitty is not sure about clap. <laughs> yes, hello, Mr. Kitty. I know you must make your appearance in every game. I know. I know. It's very important. Always trying to steal the lime knife from all the other main characters of these video games. Mr. Kitty, well, this is not your game, okay? This is not your game. One day you'll get your own game. It's called Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Okay, you go back to that game and you stay there forever. Goddamn, Mr. Kitty, why? Why do you have to be so difficult by fucking everything? 
these freaking Mr. Kitties. All right, let's uh, let's go see our our buddy Sephiroth's doing. Ah, do, 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 do. Hello there, strange caped man. <laughs> ah! Hmm, a soldier. And you are? Rashard Sangan. God damn. The humble traveler of the world. Sangan looks so and good. teacher of martial arts to the youth. And now voiced by Daddy Nier. Hmm. And Sojuro. Hmm. Sir, could you please stop feeling me up? Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. You need protein, boy! Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. Whatever. I don't like her anyway. Girls have cooties. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? <laughs> Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. I didn't know! Probably could have left that part out of the story, Cloud. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Oh, yeah, actually, that's right. There's one other thing you can do. Now Sephiroth has uh, left the mayor's office, you actually can run back in there. Hi there, Mayor Billy. Oh, I'll be telling everyone how I welcome the great Sephiroth to town till the day I die. <laughs> Fucking wording. Phrasing, sir. Do our village proud. Now that Sephiroth's here, those beasts are toast. Those beasts are toast. <laughs> sure I has got a cool little computer in here. Got so many little details. There's so much love and care put into this, man. All right, let's go. Do I have a bit? We need the Nidhogg Hotel. I noticed at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What are you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, will do. Sephiroth, you're really tall. Sexy like Sephiroth. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> Sorry, Sephiroth, I take a big shit. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't- Dad! Tifa. Tifa and her cute little cowgirl you can outfit. Still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. And Tifa's a sassy little teenager now. 
Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Did I say you could take a picture of me? Did you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. <laughs> it's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Thanks. Say cheese. Sounds like you were having a good time. One more. Yeah. <laughs> like Sephiroth, like I shows no emotion. He's like, whatever. For a while. God damn, dude. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Take away for that shit. All right, can sprint. Can smash boxes. Yeah. No littering. Creative director Tetsuya Nomura. Oh, and this is such so cool that this is the moment they start dropping the credits. Hamaguchi. Such a, such a great moment to do it in. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. Look how pretty this shit is. Trips. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. <laughs> you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. I love that line from Sephiroth. There's like casual Sephiroth. Look at this fucking game. Look at this shit. We've reached the point where video games are looking better than like the pre rendered movies. This shit looks way better than fucking Avon Children ever did. My little nine year old brain would have exploded looking at this shit. For you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But, but I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Guess you really are the best there is. Ba -ba -ba -na. God, feels like. Just yesterday, we were seeing these teasers, right? Literally this moment here of us, of Cloud and uh, Sephiroth uh, walking together. It's funny, I remember these er those early, um, uh, those early teasers too, actually had the, like, foliage movement. Like, you'd, like Cloud would, like, walk into to plants and they'd move, but they, they seem to have gotten rid of it since then. It was probably too taxing. Damn, girl, hold up. Creepy crawlers. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Like, I like this early part where Sephiroth's like your mentor, you know? All right, press square to uh, attack. Uh, hold for sweeping. Uh, press the dodge. And yes, this is that's new. This ranged combo, like blade beam shit you can do. Uh, definitely didn't have that in the last game. Now. Let's finish this. It's on now. It's on now, baby. Uh, uh. You're done. 
So cool. Got this. That was awesome. You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. Cloud moves much, so much more freely in this than Remake, having just come off Remake. Oh, look at that. Players who have completed the demo can skip the Mako Reactor investigation and resume play from the village. This skipping will not affect the gameplay. Oh, okay, so this is the point where you can actually skip it. Uh, nah, I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, Cloud is now, like, not nearly as weighted to the ground as he was uh, before. Actually, one thing I do want to adjust. I also, like, look, look at his, his, his like, uh, his emotions here on the, the pause menu actually change based on, like, the situation he's in. It's really cool. Just his stuff here. Yeah, I usually have these flipped just play remake pretty recently so i have a uh, i do actually have some uh muscle memory for this all right and this is another thing they've added to the game that was not in the original and, or not in remake it's actually very it's very xenoblade uh enemies will grow lord to your presence as you approach once the game fills up the combat will ensue press square before it fills to get to the jump on your foe land first strike your atb gauge will fill slightly at the start of battle And I didn't get it there. I didn't uh, open it quickly enough. Uh, yes, all right. Open the DTB gauge. Good. Let's finish this. I gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Yeah, Cloud, you're such a little little baby in this uh, flashback. That felt pretty good. Let's say I'm getting pretty strong. Is that Mako? Whoa. Stanks. Burn. Huh. We are. <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. I'll show you. Uh, okay, we got R1, circle. That's right, and we do also have perfect blocks. Ow. Steady. So I can do it. Shit. There we go. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Shit. Well, that's that. And hey, what you think of that shit, Sephiroth? Antifa. Am I cool enough for you to date me yet? There we go. Okay, we got targeting. All yours. You know what to do. And now air combat doesn't suck in this game. Man, going back to, I will say, going back to remake. Man, that air combat was rough. It was quite rough. You're done. Uh, oh, I jumped over him. Come on, hit me, bitch. See what happens. Uh, uh. Die, birds! Well done, Trooper. Way to take one in the face. Thank you. I got the rest. Let me show you guys how it's done. Try it. Let's finish this. I'll end this. Oh, nice whiff, Cloud. Hit him with the good Let's shit. Here. Uh, 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 ah! We still have a long way to go. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. Look how much I can squat, Sephiroth. You better. You better, bitch. Cool. See you at the reactor. All right, quick material. Uh, I'm good. I feel like it gives me the option too. All right. Do I actually have any material? Like new material? I do. There's my assess. 
Gotta start assessing things, because yes, you do get uh, enemy intel and stuff. That was back. And it tells you all about rare items, steel items, morphable items, and that's gonna be way bigger in this much larger game than Remake. Like, you technically got enemy skill materia in Remake as well, but you can only get like four skills for it. I'm sure it's gonna be back again, and I'm sure we're gonna get a lot more. What I'll be curious about is, if will they bring back Big Guard? The big, the most like busted move in freaking uh, FF7 OG. All right, uh, yep, a unique character uh, ability. So operator mode, that's where you can essentially just counter folks and uh, get this cool sweeping attack that he did not have in Remake. This shit right here where it goes, uh, blah, 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 blah. Whoa! You're done. Large insects that infest the mountainous regions. First blush, they appear to be a disturbing amalgamation of other anthropods, arthropods. The centipede tails ensures they have no blind spot. <laughs> Piece of cake. Yeah, now I can use like moves in the air, like air, like triple slash can now be used. Airborne, which is fucking awesome. Hey, birds, Velosa wings. Triple slash. Wow. Uh. Uh, That's that. Man, I bet Sephiroth thinks I'm so fucking cool. He's the only one I care about. Screw Tifa. She's a nerd anyway. Blah. Two mixed high potions. That's new. Restore 17, 700 HP and 20 MP. That's that's neat. Yeah, they now actually have potions. And I remember this from the Junon demo. That also, like, they heal your HP and MP. And also have potions that heal uh, everyone in your party. Which... Uh, did not exist in Remake and was at times kind of annoying because I was like, fuck, god dang it. The only way to heal everybody at once was with like magnify materia and uh, healing stuff. Hey, you got some wind materia. Hey, not that way. Not that way, stupid. Whoops. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Okay, context sensitive spots. Previously, PS4 loading screens. I don't know if that's as much necessary anymore. Now we're not doing loading screens. They're just here for Atmo. This way. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guy. Good thing I reconsidered. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd have let us straight off a cliff. Lead on. <laughs> Classic is so seriously. It's like, ah, oh, damn it. Screw you, Tifa. I mean, look bad in front of Sephiroth. Let Sephiroth operate the terminal. You don't know what you're doing. It'll just hurt somebody. Let's see, is this as bad as it was in the uh, demo? In the demo, they had this thing where it was like stepping in and out of uh, locations, went from like, yeah, fucking pitch dark. Oh, it's only light. And then you step outside. Ah, flashbang. Blah. Yeah, it's still pretty much there. Maybe not as quite as bad. I think I remember walking here and it being like actually pitch black. So I think maybe it's a little bit better. Ooh, that blue shit. Level boost materia. That's new. So yeah, this is like, it boosts your uh, materia by one level, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I think I'm just gonna actually put this on the uh, assess materia so I can assess everybody. I make sure to assess every freaking creature on the planet. Do it for Chadley. Yeah, this song is actually from Remake as well. It's funny, they did say that there are like 400 new songs in this game. At like the last state of play, which is insane. Uh, but clearly there's obviously gonna be some music that was carried over from Remake, as they should. They don't. They shouldn't feel like they have to get like, start from scratch every time. That would just be stupid. Hey, hey you see my big dangly ball arm? It's 
crazy enemies from the original game. Papa Seven has some wild ass enemies, I tell you. Ugh. Humanoid fiends that make their home on Mount Nibble, previously unseen in the region. Science begin after the local reactors start malfunctioning. The brandish an iron mace, the end of one arm, which they swing around with ease. They can also drop an ether onion. Ugh. Try this. like counter enemy uh, uh. do it again uh, See, I gotta say, that one felt pretty good all oh, right another thing that you can do and I only figured this out in the demo also what they didn't do in remake and I'm so glad they added uh you can cure yourself in the menu and like use items in the menu before you had to use it out here with this menu but now I can just go in here and go, hey, I want to use a I want to use high potion. Ta da! And you can do the same thing with your spells, too. Uh, very good improvement. Sometimes you just want to quickly cure people, and it's kind of hard to do it through this menu. For a while, but there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako poisoning. Yes, that would be a uh, no good, no good cloud. Now let's quickly vacuum up all the dank. Reduced by 20%. Mako gas levels reduced by 70%. Rrrr. No Mako gas detected. All done. Elevator access granted. Thanks, vacuum. Oh, Severoth, you're real close there. Hello, Cloud. I'm gonna go stare in this corner now. Whee! Get boxes! God. <laughs> the physics is still hilarious in this game. Remake had also hilarious physics, which I actually kind of loved. It's raining. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. Books it across. This doesn't look precarious at all. Get up! Are you okay? Not really. What are you? Oh. He's like, screw this. I'm going for a swim. Yeah, it's funny, this scene technically happened in the original, but you just kind of fall down the fall down the bridge. This poor guy. My bad, bro. You fall off the bridge and then you just kind of wake up down below. You don't even like land in water. It's almost like, like how the fuck did we survive that? Ah, oh, I scraped my knee. Two hours later. That's something they actually show, yes, you fall in the water and wash downstream.
Look at good guy Sephiroth. He's in fate's hands now. All sad about his dead ally. Do you know the way? <sighs> yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Good luck, bitch. I'm so glad they let you control Sephiroth too in this in this intro part. I was not sure they would, but crazy bastards sure did. Now approach the yellow paint cloud. <laughs> the shit that makes the internet so angry. Now, one thing I am sort of surprised by, they actually make uh, Sephiroth like the same level as you. I do find that sort of odd. However, he is, he does have more stats. He is just overall, if you look at his stats, he's way stronger than Cloud is. Like 247 attack and magic attack is way higher. E everything's pretty higher on Sephiroth. But I was kind of surprised. I thought for sure they'd at least make him level 50, you know, like 10 levels higher. But it's all right, it's fine. But all right, guys, I think this is a good spot to end things here for right now for the first episode. I don't want to stop. I don't, but we still haven't even technically gotten through the actual uh, prologue or the or the flashback, which I have which I have played all of. But I am glad that I, I at least got to see. I did get to see some new stuff with that whole thing with Zach. Oh my god, what a what a delight that was. Uh, next episode, we'll definitely begin through the rest of the flashback. And the cool thing is, we haven't actually seen the entirety of it. I'm there. There definitely is stuff at the end that we have not seen, because there's a scene in remake. Uh, that you actually see in like one of Cloud's like hazy visions that de he definitely has to see in this flashback. So uh, I'm pretty sure there's more to it. The demo kind of ends a little prematurely before the flashback finishes. So not to mention I don't want to get to the freaking open world stuff, dude. Uh, but we'll get a chance to also get to uh, fuck around with some with Cloud or, or uh, Sephiroth next episode. So goddamn guys, I'm so excited for this game. <laughs> so happy, <laughs> so happy. A huge thank you again to Square Enix for uh, allowing me to. Uh, uh, start my playthrough this early. Uh, truly, thank you. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this first of many episodes and I, are as excited for this series as I am. Uh, if you are, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, Stay classy!